insights from the world's best medical minds. You are watching the right doctors.com. Dr. Joshi, right now you are doing more of hamstrings, and uh, I want to know a method of fixation you use, a preferred method, what I mean. Raghu, we started doing bone patella dental bone from 1989, went on till 1996 when we finally shifted to the hamstrings. And one of the greatest advantage of using the hamstrings was uh, graft uh, the uh, native ACL remnant preservation. I think when you do an ACL reconstruction, you want to preserve as much of biology as possible. The hamstrings is a versatile graft. You can double it, you can triple it, you can quadruple it. Depending on what size of graft you want, what is the amount of remnant that is inside. So that is why I made my shift from the bone patella tendon to the hamstring. Now when it came, comes to fixation, we were used to interference kind of fixation for the bone patella tendon bone. Unfortunately for the hamstrings, being a soft tissue graft which is to be fixed in a rigid bony tunnel, I felt that the kind of interference screw that you use could really lacerate the graft and cause a day one failure of your hamstring fixation. And therefore, I tend to prefer any kind of distant fixation for all my hamstring tendons. So, uh, the distant fixation does not uh, harm my graft in any way. Again, it is versatile because if I have a short tunnel, I can use a smaller uh, loop of the distant fixation. And uh, uh, I think what I have observed is with the interference screws, uh, you know, uh, if you have a rigid tunnel and a screw, that squeaking which people say is a good thing of, and gives you rigid fixation, I think that squeaking actually is destroying the tunnel. Yes. Uh, the next thing about the screws is that people have started using a lot of bio absorbable, degradable screws and over titanium screws. I think titanium screws have been time tested. They have been used all over, over years and we have not had any problems. With the bio screw, the first thing is the bio screw is not as strong as titanium. So if you use any excessive force during fixation, the screw can break and you can be in a complete fix. The other thing is we have seen a lot of uh, reactive changes uh, absorption uh, problems. The bioabsorbable never gets absorbed. We have removed screws after uh, two years and the screw is still there. You cannot see where the screw is, so the screw may be floating around in the joint. So, these are, I think, some potential problems with the biodegradable screws. Yes, sir. Neither are using titanium. Absolutely. Hi, I am Dr. Anand Joshi from Sportsman Mumbai and you are watching me on therightdoctors.com Insights from the world's best medical minds. You are watching therightdoctors.com